We have a printing lesson today on Henri Rousseau's jungle paintings, and so we're going to print with some magnolia leaves. Um, they're very thick, and so it makes it easier to print with them. Um, we have different sizes. Also, what we have is we have some tempera paint, and we put green and then some yellow and green next to it, so that way the kids could mix the colors when they put it on the leaf. And then we also have some blue and green that they could mix together. And then we have the red for the sun. If you're doing this with children, you could wait till the very end to put the red on their plate um, for the sun, so that way they don't mix it up with the other colors and make brown. Um, so what you're gonna do to get started is just have the kids choose a leaf. We're gonna choose a big leaf and they are going to paint green paint on the leaf and just make sure that you really cover the whole leaf including the veins and the edges. And then you're just going to push the leaf down onto the paper and you really want to encourage the kids to rub down and around the, the veins and also the edges like I said before. So that way you get a nice shape. There you go. You can choose another leaf and another color. And we're actually going to do the yellow green next. This lesson does get a little bit messy. Um, the kids will get green on their hands. So make sure that you have wipes on hand or um, wet some paper towels. Alright, and then you can also encourage the kids once they um, start to take up a lot of space to go ahead and just start layering the, the, the leaves as well. It's okay if they um, place one leaf on top of another leaf that already they've already paint, printed.
is really fun for the kids because they really like getting to mix the colors together too. And you can talk to them what about what happens when you add blue to green, considering there's already blue in green, and yellow to green. They can actually print with the leaf more than one time if there's still paint left on it too. And what we're actually doing is we're leaving a little space at the top so that we can do a red sun. So try to encourage the kids to remember to leave some space. When the picture is ready and you have enough leaves, what you can do is clean off the brush and then you're going to make a bright red circle for the sun in the center, in the center top. And there you go, an exotic jungle.